Hello, everyone. Uh, thank you very much uh, for attending our implicit modeling webinar. Uh, first of all, I hope everyone is doing all right and in safe. Um, today, I would like to present the latest features and improvements coming with DataMine Studio RM version 1.6. Uh, in addition, I will explain to developed uh, implicit modeling tools that are located to under, ge under the new geology ribbon. And also, I will make some examples in practice related to implicit modeling. Uh, first of all, uh, for the participants who don't, do not know me, let me introduce myself. Uh, my name is Oğuz Trunç. I'm from Turkey. Uh, I graduated from Majetepe University, University, Department of Geological Engineering. Uh, I have been working in mining industry for 12 years. Um, in the uh, first years of, of my career, I was working as an exploration and mining geologist. Then I got the experiences on resource geology and resource modeling. Actually, I'm a user of data mine studio environment almost from beginning of my career. So I have been working as a geology consultant at data mine Turkey office, Turkey local office since June 2018. Um, you can contact me to, to my mail whenever you want. Um, at this point, I should give some information about the data mine. Uh, but I would like to highlight another point because uh, almost everyone working in the industry has a knowledge about the data mine solutions. Uh, the most important uh, feature is data mine solutions uh, cover the whole mining operation chain, uh, such as from exploration to resource modeling, from uh, planning to operational control. Um, however, data mine consultancy services is not known commonly. In, in addition to software, uh, DataMine supplies professional consultancy service according to international standards. Uh, as it is good in software, uh, DataMine has well experienced consultant in each part of mining industry. As far as I know, in 19 countries, we have a local offices and more than 140 consultants are able to give us services in local languages. Uh, QP reports according to JORC and NI43 and 101 codes, um, implementation process and software trainings uh, can be given as an example of services. The services. You can see the content of my webinar. Uh, we will start with the new features and changes in Studio RM 1.6. Then I will talk about the Comp C uh, process, which is the one of most effective command that you can use, get optimized or an uh, waste intervals. After that, we are we will have a look at the group and assigning tool to create the domains. I think those uh, explanations will be very fruitful before going to real the modeling. Um, as you know, there are two general, generalized, generalized terms uh, used for modeling process as, a, as a explicit and implicit. I'll explain these two, two terms and mention difference between each other. Uh, finally, we will look at the implicit modeling tools and do, do some practice, practical examples on this topic. Uh, Studio RM is continuing to develop with uh, version 1.6. Um, one of the uh, important new feature is um, geology ribbon. I think there are lots of new tools to make uh, geologists' job easier. Uh, we are going to have a look at them in detail in this presentation. And um, there are um, very good improvements in uniform conditioning and great estimation as well. Also. Uh, you can see, as you can see here, uh, we can add depth and uh, sample interval marks on uh, ticks on uh, the drill hole now. Uh, in addition, performance increase in some comments, uh, some comments and fixing of reported bugs has been applied with this release. 
uh, when we have a look at the new geology ribbon, uh, we can say that the, the, the tools related with model, modeling are located uh, under the same menu uh, in composite compositing uh, parts. Composite parts, we can create optimized or waste intervals. And in ellipsoid parts, usable ellipsoids can be displayed on 3D screen. And also, uh, size and orientation of ellipsoid can be modified. Um, the tools within the surface uh, implicit modeling uh, will uh, window will be examined practically in, in this uh, webinar. Uh, contour tools uh, are also located under the geology menu now, but uh, contouring is unfortunately out of the scope of this webinar. I can say that uh, the geology menu will keep developing, and I know that there will be more useful tool in upcoming version. Uh, this this is the uh, COMC process. Maybe you know or not, I don't know. But although uh, COMC is seen as a uh, compositing process, it is different than the compositing process that are used during resource estimation studies. Uh, you can composite the drill hole data by defining some parameters, uh, such as cutoff grade, minimum uh, or thicknesses, etc. Uh, this is this helps um, you to get better shape while creating a model by using implicit methods. Uh, let's try it. Uh, let's try it practically in Studio RM now. While running uh, COMC process, I'm click on it. COMC process. You can also type it in prompt window with the COMC, and also you can run. It's in here. Uh, my input, um, my input files uh, must be a drill hole files uh, created by post 3D comments. Uh, in the output pa parts, uh, uh, we have two options. One is mandatory, as you can see. One is mandatory. Uh, uh, another one is optional. This whole south is optional. Uh, the output call as a out is giving the composite data according to defined parameters uh, while house uh, out is creating the completely same samples as original files and contains uh, it has just own code OV code fields uh, this is the main difference between these two output files i will show you uh, let's move to the fields uh, in the field parts uh, value uh, can be great or equivalent grades to control the compositing. It's important as it is because to determine the ore and waste in polymetallic project, projects that have the products of, of one, more than one metal you, you can have. Uh, because of this, it's something like that. Uh, actually, on code is name of field that will be located inside of output file uh, in this field one is referred to uh, or and while zero means west actually i'm going to select uh, the drill holes and i'm giving some name oe out and oe dh uh, fields and Let's move to the parameters. In parameters, uh, we can um, we can define uh, the necessary criteria from here. Uh, cutoff and mean OR. Cutoff and mean OR are very important parameter for us. Uh, cutoff means the minimum grades value that is classified as a OR. Uh, on the other hand, as mean OR um, is the parameter that we define the thickness of OR. As you can think about like SMU, selective mining units. And it means uh, both of uh, two conditions are okay. All OV code will be written as a one that refers to OR. But at least one of two, one of them is not satisfied, the value will be zero as refers to West. Uh, remaining parameters, also you can check and Remaining parameters such as dilute and narrow waste 
are used to make some modification while composite samples are created. And in this case, we don't use the dilution. And also, if you select the narrow waste the one, it is uh, this is more aggressive option to uh, and uh, this is very aggressive option and will tend to be create longer or compositive of lower lower grade. It means now I'm running the process. If you finish the process, you can check in this data. For output files, uh, we obtain to 145 composite outputs. It's other optional output, also 1,043 uh, samples uh, we have. It means it's very completely the same uh, records with the uh, original samples. Let's check the output data. You know, this is the, this is the composite. Let's say, for example, this one is 30 meters length, and this also is coded by OR. It is this is the average grades of these samples, decode these composite samples. And also, we can check the host output with the in 3D window. I'm going to apply the legends, OE code legends, just quickly. And also, by the way, um, I'm going to add sample fix in, uh, in this is something new in this version. Uh, you can see on uh, trace samples from two, po two, two, from two points uh, for the intervals. I'm going to add sample takes. A little bit more. Increase the. More. Sorry. You know, this is as you can see. Intervals in red are or, while blue ones are classified as a waste. Um, you, you can use this process uh, to implicit modeling, or you can use any uh, any reason for for the uh, obtain to be which is or and which is waste according to your criteria. This is also sample thing as you can see the sample ticks. This is something new in 1.6 Studio so version. In addition to COMPC command, uh, we can create some groups that contain one or more lithologies by using grouping. Uh, this helps us to prepare the data for implicit modeling as well. Uh, let's go to the application. From interface, I'm clicking on group grouping. You can select the drill hole tables and you can select to fields, lithology fields. And also you can type any name can given group. Let us open up the, this grouping file. And also you can create one and more groups. And I'm going to add new zone names, zone one, zone two, and zone three. Zone three. Now let's say I'm I would like to group in breccia and siltstone as a one group, group zone one. 
and for sandstone and soil also as a group zone two and going to assign assign to result only one group zone three if you click on auto apply tick it's automatically update to 3d window and also you can change the you can change the, the colors automatically you can realize that where is your grouping things something like that This is grouping how it works. Also, you can save the file. You can save the original file. I'm click on save file, and I'm going to the project files. Open up the table editor. You can see there is a zone one. There is a zone one, like that. This is zone one. And zone one, it includes also two different lithology, as you can see, siltstone and brescia are located here. I can close it, this one. In mod modeling study studies, uh, I think uh, simplifying of lithology makes our job easier, you know, uh, at the beginning, I think. Uh, to give an example from one of the, my previous projects, we had a uh, porphyry dike system, uh, um, porphyry dike system that contains more than one dikes uh, was coded as a lithological unit. And the common point is that they are younger than the ore and it was assumed that those dikes are cutting the ore bodies uh, porphyry dikes were combined under the under a group and and then uh, ore body was cut cut by the dikes uh, these tools can be easy to use in similar or some other case uh, to continue with assign tool, uh, actually I'm actively using it in modeling studies and prepare my data to use with implicit modeling. Uh, in modeling uh, in an interpretation, uh, I'm selecting samples and categorize them. Uh, it gives a very good result when assigned data is used, especially in way modeling tool, I'll show you. And let me show you how easy to use. I'm going to back to Studio RM again. Yeah, we can leave it this one. I'm running the assign lithology tools. Its name is lithology, but uh, it's 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 not uh, you know it's mandatory to use the lithology files. You can use any categorical data as well in in with this file. I'm using lithology in this case. Also, you can select the legend data. And if you click on it, allow to change the legend. You can add or uh, make some changes on the, your legends instantly. Now I'm going to create, uh, let's say we are, I'm doing the interpretation. I need the uh, one Wayne code. I click new and I edit the Wayne one. Click Wayne one. Just so you can change the, you know, it's something different color like that. And let's see how it is work. You know, this is uh, something, uh, if you click on uh, select mode, if you open up the select mode, you can select every individual uh, samples, you know. Also, you can 
select multiple, you can do the select multiple selection like that. If you press the control and you can also do and uh, select another drill holes as well. I'm selecting these samples and I'm going to uh, assign as a vein one. Yeah, I'm clicking the assign. It's already created now new assign uh, mythology. Uh, also, there is another options. You you would like to select some part of uh, data and uh, which is interpretation as further, furthermore, and you can uh, click on unassign. It means these samples is absent right now, absent. And also very good, very good things uh, to to show us uh, uh, is you can. Uh, Filter it only. You, I, I only wants to uh, wants to see the pressure and vein one. If you click on vein one, just only see the these samples, these pressure and vein samples together. If you click on all, you can get back. You can save it as well, save this file as well. This is also a very nice tool, as I said before, for the vein modeling. I use actively use this uh, assign window. It's very nice tool, rather than explicit modeling, I think. Now, going to the back. The presentation. Now um, I prepared my drill hole data for implicit modeling, and I can start the modeling process. Uh, however, before uh, moving to modeling stage, I should give some uh, brief information on types of modeling, uh, on, on the types of modeling. I should explain what these the explicit explicit and implicit modeling are for those who haven't heard about them. Uh, explicit modeling uh, is the method to create closed volumes or surface by combining or correlating uh, closed areas formed on a vertical or plan section, doesn't matter. And you can, cre you can create, uh, create uh, the strings, closed strings, and uh, every cross section, then with the linking wireframe linking option, not the studio and wireframe linking option, you can link each other and you can obtain to these uh, solid closed solids, solid wireframes. Uh, actually, on the other hand, it's implicit um, process the data, uh, implicit modeling process the data as we have uh, just created to get surface or volume by using mathematical algorithm. Uh, let's let's have a look at more detail. In, in, in explicit modeling, who uh, control belongs to the user. Uh, closed areas on parallel, parallel sections should be created and linked to each other. And uh, however user control is limited in, in implicit modeling, you give the data and the software, the system creates volumes and surface according to defined parameters. Uh, to be clear, uh, there is, there is a, a no strict boundary between them. Actually, we are um, closing to explicit sites with the increasing user control. Uh, how, you, how you can do that uh, to, to con user control? You can add some contact strings or points. Uh, you can decide which contact points are used or not. Uh, also, you can define a trend, uh, trend uh, to shape your model. Uh, I don't want to talk about advantages or disadvantages between them because it's still a matter of debate. At the, important things is for me is that how much we can reflect the real geology by taking the control it is important i think i try to 
uh, I try to show you the place of data mine implicit modeling tools on this range. Uh, for example, although when modeling has very limited user control, the users can involve the system at different points. Um, uh, as as a result, when modeling is located um, is in approximately in this place, at this place, uh, actually you are getting the control even while using a time and group tools as well. While uh, categoric implicit modeling uh, that is used to model the intrusions or irregular shape structures is located here. And also trended uh, domain grade shells, which can be controlled by grades, it's seen at, uh, at this location. Um, old school of data mine users remember that isotropic ISO shell tools was the first example of implicit modeling tool in uh, studio products maybe it's located here, something like something where something near uh vein modeling tools uh, has been in use for a while uh, and it is one of the most important implicit modeling tool i think I'm using this tool consultancy projects and getting very good results for the modeling lenses and veins. Uh, let's continue with the examples on, on Studio RM. Download this data. And it can be started by clicking vein icon under the geology uh menu i click on rain uh, the drill holes um i have to select the drill holes the drill holes that will be used should be uploaded on a 3d screen i'm going to upload by this way i can select these drill holes And also, you should select the columns. I'm going to select lithology columns. And also, I'm going to select in value. Value part is uh, category or category or lithology should be selected. When I select brescia right now. When I select Brescia, software automatically detects the starting and ending points of Brescia intervals. You know, as you can see, the red dots uh, refer to hanging wall and uh, green ones represent the foot wall. And if you go to the uncertainty, the Actually, the frequently asked the question related on these tools is are some uncertainty parameters. Uncertainty can be taught as a tolerance while snapping the contact points. Uh, choosing default uncertainty as zero means that wall contact points will be snapped one by one. It's it's just like that. And also there is another option the uncertainty columns. Uh, with the uncertainty columns for uh, each interval intervals uh, i can apply for different value of uncertainty not only one drill hole uh, you can adjust sample by sample uh, it means uh, you are going to control better to intervals uh, actually where, where where is the high value of uncertainty that means the confidence of this interval quite low if you create the uncertainty column just just put here and just select here and uh, and then it is going to ignore default one but in this case we are going to use default one for the intervals uh, this is uh, also the section controls with the section controls 
the software creates a best fit plane and general attributes of vein will be along to this plane this plane uh, it's it's very good i think very good if you click on reset and click on uh, section editor as you can see the, the orientation of plane quite similar to lie along with the, the, the samples and actually by the way please note that this plane also uh, could be used while calculating the experimental variogram i believe that you can get better result in this way it's very useful and edits for the edit samples in edit sample parts uh, we can uh, we can decide which sample intervals will be used or not uh, also reverse reverse options um, also we we have a reverse options could be used change the hanging wall or football points uh, if you are um, also there's a ignore uh, gaps button is here if you uh, have a if you are facing a with unusual structures like a spikes uh, uh, while working with your your raw data it means that it must be that that are there are some uh, samples which are not assigned uh, because of this you can use the uh, ga ignore gap options and this can be fixed with ignore gap options with the ignore gap options uh, by using additional points, strings, or uh, artificial samples can be added on hanging wall and footwall surface. I'm going to show you. And also, different boundary options can be selected, or you can apply all on your uh, all your uh, boundaries. And in the control and the control part, uh, in the control part, uh, default value is automatically calculated when you select on value, or if you uh, click on reset, it will be uh, get it will be you can get a default value as well. Um, default value automatically calculated when you select value. And in version 1.3, there are some improve, improvements on these features. Uh, of course, you can increase or decrease. Uh, you can increase and decrease the continuity value. Uh, also, you can define minimum and uh, maximum thicknesses. And also, you can adjust the trend smoothness or uh, use the pinch out option to get lenticular cl closure. If you click on pinch out. And from outputs, you can define output name of the vein model. Also, you can choose which surface will be created. And if you can create, create individual hanging wall and footwall. And also, you can select both. It means you, you, are, you are going to get a uh, solid volume, closed volume. Uh, now I'm going to select uh, to Russia and I set set it up the, the alternative as well. And I'm using the boundary alpha shape in this, this examples. I'm clicking on minimum thickness of 0 0.5. Not me. It not allows to under the uh, less than 0 0.5 meter thickness. Uh, yeah, I'm going to click on compare surface. As you can see, the, my brescia is automatically created. My brescia is automatically created. Also, I would like to show you in drill vertical sections. I click turn off the wireframe slice display. You know the 
as you can see, this is a shape of our body. And I'd like to show you the additional point features. Uh, I'm click on use additional points and strings. And in this case, there is a, uh, four options. I can add some uh, hanging wall points, football points, and I can add some uh, artificial samples, and I can add trend points as well. And now uh, I'm going to add hanging wall points on this section. I'm going to create, I don't like it, this one. I'm going to create something like that. Just click done. And also I'm going to add some artificial samples. It's here, something like that. This is hanging wall, this is four. You know, this is two additional points I have. Also, it's located in VAME ETS deals. This is a string file, which is, it will be used, you know, it's a string file. If you click complete surface, if you run the complete surface, yeah. It's finished, quickly it's finished, it's very fast. And also, as you can see, it is, it's used to the system automatically use, automatically follow up the hanging wall points and it's used uh, to hanging wall uh, artificial samples as well. And let's play with more. For example, I'm going to add some trans points it's not going up, it's something like going down. And also another trans, it's not going down, it's like going up, maybe something like that. I'm running the process again. This is the new results. As you can see, this trend point also used you can manipulate to to, the, to uh, veins and something like that with the, the uh, additional using additional points and strings. It's quite nice, quite nice uh, features, I think. Uh, another example for create surface, uh, create vein surface. I'm going to unload this data. Now, in this case, I'm selecting to seal stone now. You can see the my seal stone samples again on the screen. And click reset and section editor also automatically calculated. And I'm going to change to Alpha shape to LN square boundary methods. Boundary methods. I'm going to reset and set again. LN square. There is some options auto. It it means it allows to if you are um, sample density is some part of is very very good uh, sample some part of not there is a, some sparse area. You can you can try it auto continuity in something like that. It's it's uh, quite good result you can have. If you if if I click the compute surface, if I click the compute surface, as uh, you can see you can see the, the new shape of uh, seal stone, and you can select uh, according to your uh according to your uh, data method you can test it which is good result you can get or uh, not and also another options for the boundaries is the custom options custom options uh, when i click on custom and it's uh, system uh, allows to us generate a, a digitize a new parameter i click on it and I'm digitizing, uh, sorry, 
I have to back uh, to resets and align square. Yeah, because it will be projected on this plane, this boundaries. Yeah, I created the boundary and I click on compute surface. Yeah, it's 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 created the uh, system automatically created on based on the, this uh, boundary. You can apply also this kind of step. And I would like to show you uh, another things. For example, wireframe slice, yeah. If you go to the edit samples, when, you, when I click on pick samples from here, uh, I clicked on the samples and I untick the from and click apply. It means it, this hanging wall contact points uh, will not use the interpretation. And if you click on compare surface again, yeah. Also, you can see this is not uh, use these points, something like that. You can use additional points and string, uh, this kind of purposes. Now, okay, uh, that's, we can finish the way modeling. And also to have a look at the new features of Vein Surface, we have an improvement improvement interface now, as you uh, like we see. Uh, variable continues to data sets with variable samples. That's the can be applied by auto auto continuity. Now it is better to detect parameters and handing boundary strings. Uh, one of the most important feature uh, is that we have a command code to use in scripts, also switching between uh, assigned lithology and vein modeling, it's very easy now, uh, just like that. And new, uh, now let's have a look at the categorical uh, structural modeling tools has been released with the uh, version 1.6. Improvements on uh, these tools will be continue continue to according according to your uh, and our feedbacks. Uh, the main aim of uh, these tools is modeling of intrusions, complex uh, or irregular shape uh, geological structures. Uh, also, it can be used on drill holes with natural samples breaks uh, without any preparation. Although finer control and improve model are seen with uh, with composite samples with clear zone definition uh, let's make another practice uh, on studio rm uh, under the geology ribbon there is there is a categorical main model you can see Let me select my drill holes. I'm going to OD, OEDH. I select the OEDH and this column, maybe you remember we, we can uh, 
I'm going to use the optional uh, output coming from the com C commands, as, uh, as you remember. Uh, by doing this, I'm getting um, better results. Uh, value is should be one. It's, it means so. When I click the one, you can see as a red colors on um, where is the my uh, samples. And uncertainty. It's it's same why I uh, explained before previous vein uh, sampling, vein modeling. And at this stage, uh, with create trends, I can define ellipsoids and uh, get an idea about the trends. Uh, but it's not something mandatory. We can run uh, it as a default from holes. Uh, however, I, sh I should say uh, that this ellipsoid option is very useful to get uh, fine shapes. Uh, now let's uh, let's try. Now let's try something the, the custom trends. How we can create the custom trends? Uh, working actually working principle of ellipsoid can be explained. Like if you select the custom uh, samples on drill holes will be selected and automatically ellipsoid can be uh, created based on the selected samples. Uh, something like that. And when I click on this one, pick the drill hole samples to create trends surface. When I select these samples, you can see with uh, yellow in yellow, and I create the ellipsoid, you know, this ellipsoid created based on these values, these samples. And also I created, I'm going to create these samples, something like that. And also, I'm going to add on these samples, and I click on again this. You can create so many trans ellipsoids on your data. It is very useful to get good shapes uh, on on the, this categorical modeling. And for the grid resolutions. Uh, an ellipsoid according to that trend will be taken as an input. Um, it is it is uh, this part just show the ellipsoids, uh, just like a you know it's visual trends you can you can check. A uh, little bit it takes time, uh, but I can show you the some example visual trend example. If you click on view, three by three, this you can get something like that. You can see the trends over the old data set. And from the surface generation control, we can select and define uh, the trends. And we have some other option in resolution part as well. Uh, high resolution uh, means that small size triangles. Uh, for the percentage extra, actually, it doesn't mean the, uh, that the volume will increase 40% more. It, it doesn't mean. It's actually, it means extensions will be almost 40, uh, uh, 40 percentage of average drilling distance and then closure. So, this, this allows to us. Uh, you can give an output name from output parts uh, and run the process. Um, since pro this process takes about a couple of minutes, three minutes, five minutes, and takes if you use the trends, uh, I will show you another output previously I created. So, This is something like that. I'm going to
we get the cross section. This is the looks. This is looks good, and also I can show you interactively, edit interactively. This is something looks nice shape we can obtain. Okay, now let's move on to um, another new tools. It, uh, this is a uh, great shell generation. Um, it is similar to um, categorical structure modeling. Great shell generation is a, a new tool as well. Uh, and you can define a cutoff grade value. Uh, then it will model the zones have a grade values higher than the cutoff grades. Uh, it can be used for modeling of uh, massive ores, um, shear zones, or stock work. Stock work types uh, mineralization. Uh, also, I think it can be very useful for defining or limiting of grade intervals in the resource estimation, like where is the minimum, uh, where is the low grade, where is the medium grade, where is the high grade as well. Let's move to the drill holes. Under the geology ribbon, I'm running the great shells now. It's very similar, very similar to categorical process, uh, except the value, so it means part of grid. I'm selecting the OVDH and I use this colon AU gold. Uh, I'm defining the cutoff value 0 0.4 in this case. This is uncertainty, I'm Levitis. Uh, then uh, I can see um, or I can see that which parts are higher than the 0 0.5 for 0 0.4 gram per ton in on the 3D window. When adjusting the remaining parts, now uh, I'm using the default from holes if, because if you use the custom, it takes time, as I said before. Uh, now I'm going to I'm going to create a zero uh, up to the zero point zero point four, uh, four uh, cutoff. Uh, I'm also Mm, previously, I created the trended one, or complete the same cutoff, uh, which I used. Uh, I'm going to compare with the, uh, right now, I'm going to compare with uh, trended and untrended uh, version of great shell generation uh, after the completion of this process. Yeah, it's finished, it's finished. And also, I'm going to load my branded 0 0.4 red one. Yeah. Now, now, as you can see, the uh, green one is untrended, untrended version, ver version of wireframes. This is red one is trended uh, by me. And you can see this is something, there is something, something break of on um, this white frame, but it's uh, red one is quite continuous than the uh, this one. You can get better shapes uh, on with the uh, custom trends. If you define a good, good trends and you can get more uh, 
uh, reliable uh, wire streams. And actually, uh, after the great shell generation, another new another new tools. I already showed the uh, interactive suite uh, while talking about categorical great shells. Uh, compared to previously used ellipse commands, maybe you know, uh, this is uh, is th this one is easier in usage and has better visual design. Uh, to define a uh, ellipsoid uh, on Studio RM, under the geology ribbon, you can click on new. Ellipsoid tools, new ellipsoid tools, and you can select a position of ellipsoids anywhere. You can type it X, Y, Z coordinate as well. I'm selecting with the, uh, this button, and I'm going to generate the size of ellipsoids, and for example, 30, 60, and and we can define the orientation of uh, ellipsoid as well. Azimuth 20, which is 15, and roll is not. If you click on add, you know, you can see the uh, ellipsoids. And uh, if you put on some points, and you can see which is inside of uh, which samples inside of uh, ellipsoid or not, you can easily recognize. And also another tool is ellipsoid. It's uh, edit ellipsoids. Uh, you can currently ellipsoid, if you have a current a current ellipsoid, and you can select and edit every uh, attribute. And also you can expand ellipsoid like that. And you can change the depth as well. And you can shrink the ellipsoid something like that. You can manipulate it to is very quickly and very interactively. And finally, uh, I would like to inform you that these are new comments will be available with upcoming versions. Uh, to describe them briefly, implicit unfolding, automatically unfold and or body uh, uh, and uh, use these results for the grace estimation and in, in an uh, unfolded coordinate system. Maybe you know it, it will be coming. Uh, uh, by using multi multiple veins modeling tool, vein packages with uh, crossing and adjoining veins can be modeled. Uh, fit wireframe to point tools uh, makes you able to update wireframes in place with the new data. Uh, these commands uh, are not us usable in uh, version 1.6, but if you'd like to test them and help us to improve the software, please contact us. And actually, I have completed the whole contents and that I was planning. Uh, as we have so many attendees, it's hard to get questions or comments uh, one by one. But if you have a question and or comments, please do not hesitate to get in, to, uh, in contact with me. Uh, or you can contact from our websites and you can send an email to support TR, to Turkey support portal or directly uh, directly uh, send your uh, mail to me via uh, this mail. Uh, 